morning. Welcome to each and your beloved pets. It looks like um, we have a strong contingency of dogs, but we have one mosquito. So in a little bit, we'll see what's in the box. Box number one. <laughs> um, Welcome to our spooky animal, blessing animals this morning in our beautiful, somewhat foggy courtyard. But I just heard from some that's farther up um, at San Jose Road, and they said the sun is starting to come out. So it's way down to us. If you are a guest, we have a gift for you. And also, please, out the, please fill out the yellow welcome card and drop it to and the offering plate will get to the We look forward to meeting you and get better appointed at fellowship after church this morning. Feel free to call or email if, it, if you would like to be added to our weekly e-news list or learn, learn more about us. October's mission month is gray bears. Most of us know about gray bears, but we're going to get to learn a little bit more about gray bears. Gray Bears improves the health and well being of seniors and our community through food and meal deliveries, volunteers, resource conservation, and recycling. Their vision is to help all seniors with healthy, meaningful lives. Our core values for Christian Gray Bears is respect individuals, trust, integrity, diversity, and compassion. Volunteerism and community service acknowledge and respond to the challenges of age, aging and living with disabilities. Advance sustainability via reusing, repurposing, and recycling. Please read more about Gray Bears and your bulletin, or better yet, check their website. Thank you. October is upon us. Here, right now. And there's lots to come this month. Next Sunday is the 16th, and the Mission and Service Sunday, will we, where we will hear firsthand about the work of Gray Bears. Join us for an information presentation. Then, October 23rd, the New Life and Worship Series will begin, titled Where on Earth? Following Jesus in the Geography of Faith. And then we have October 30th, All Faith Sunday and Trunk or This is a big one. Wear your costumes. Sign up with Lori Health if you would like to decorate your trunk and bring goodies for the trick or treaters. If you would like to bake goods for the cakewalk, please contact the board. Remember, all family and friends are welcome. And helping hands is very much appreciated. Check your bulletin for specific details. Please read your weekly emails or check our website for detailed information of upcoming events. Thank you and welcome. Congregation who are not here. I was talking with someone today 
and they told me they have a new calf at their house. And um, the calf couldn't come. Um, <laughs> that might be a little bit of a maintenance problem. So, you know, um, but some of the rest of you might have pets. You know, maybe you have a fish at home, maybe you have something else. Well, if you have a picture of that pet, you can, you can, we can bless your picture. <laughs> uh, and um, so if you want to do that, like if, uh, if you have a picture on your phone, you didn't even think about this and you'd like to participate, you can do it that way as well. Uh, no, no pets left behind here. In terms of God's blessing. Let's begin today, though, with a call to worship taken from Psalm 104. And please join me responsibly. O Lord, how manifold are your works! The earth is full of your creatures, great and wide. Living things both small and great. May the Lord rejoice in all his works. Mm -hmm. O God, by means of your love, you have created us and you've placed us on the earth. Here we follow your sacred example of love by being caregivers of the earth of all living things, including the animals who we befriend and who we discover in the joy of life and in all its creative variety and promise. So therefore, we now gather to worship you today, celebrating your place as our creator and saying, oh God, how wonderful are the works of your works in all the earth. They ask me at the time and leave us in our Hello, please stand as you are able and join me in singing verses one, three, and five of all creatures of our God and King. It is an insert in your bulletin. Words right there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh Lord, we give thanks for this day, for the families here, for the friends that are gathered, for all of our animals here and at home. We just ask you, Lord, to take our gifts and let them be part of sharing the love you have for the whole world. For we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated. And now if you'll turn in your bulletin to the litany of creation, it's our responsive prayer for all that God has given to us. Gracious God, you created the earth and all that's in it and proclaimed it good. All this belongs to you, and yet we harm your creation. Forgive us, we pray, and help us to be champions of all those who suffer so that we may be channels of your goodness. We give you thanks, O oh God, for animals who live in our homes, on farms, in the wild, and in havens of refuge. Make us ever aware of our stewardship of creation and help us to be faithful in caring for all you have created. We ask forgiveness, Lord, for the part we have all played in systems that employ violence and promote hardness of heart. Oh, sweet maker of all, we ask your blessing on every creature gathered here today, the large and the small. May they live peacefully in praise of you. Bless us all to live your creation and revere its sacred. This we ask in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, cast it be thy name, thy kingdom come, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, Camille, if you want to come up and lead us in the second part of our hymn. Please join me in singing. Please join me in singing, excuse me, All Things Bright and Beautiful, verses one and two to the end. Please catch. <laughs>
Um, Ashir, you may be seated. We get to share our animals. We're going to bring them up front and also like what to bring your phone. We're going to line them up so everybody can see them. And Mark and I will bless them from where they come. So come on up to the front. And I'm an anxious one to see it's mine. We can enjoy this. So come on up and bring your handful up and Mark, yes. Mark, if you begin, maybe you could share what's in the box. Yes. Uh, oh. it, uh, red. Okay. And can everybody see uh, red? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hands and look and check it. <laughs> And this red one if I if I get that number. Okay, we're gonna start our blessings. You can start on that end, Mark, with the chicken. And I'm gonna start here with, with Buck. Yeah, there he is. All right. Okay. And Buck, you're a beautiful dog. And you can Are you gonna do it in the microphone or Just hold this up the side.
Oh, no, they can't see. Oh, okay. It's Buster. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, good, good. This is my first live stream lesson. <laughs> Ours too. I'm so glad you guys could participate today. Yeah, bring Buster. Of course, Buster's an old friend. Yes, well, all of your friends, you remember them today too. Great memories. Um, but today it's Buster's day. So blessings upon you, Buster, among God's beloved creatures, both great and small. Amen. 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 Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Great seeing you guys. Great to see you guys. Maybe, we'll, maybe this will really catch on a lot of people on the stream. Great. Thanks. You bet. Thanks, Mark.
who have taught us, and one of those saints who taught us about the value and the importance of the earth and all God's creatures, great and small, was St. Francis. And so I'd like to close uh, by uh, saying this prayer responsibly, because it is a prayer that is all-inclusive of all creatures, and it is a prayer that uh, builds in its strength as it is including all things, uh, with the love uh, of God behind it. So please join me uh, in this responsive benediction as we close today. And I invite you to stay after, and maybe people can meet your animal who haven't had a chance to do so. That's the most fun, uh, I think, of this event. So please join me responsibly in this benediction, this peace prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is sadness, joy. As to console. As to understand. As to love, that we receive, that we are pardoned, that we are born to eternal life. Amen.